morning, y'all. Just taking an old Jake for a walk. Good old Michigan. Yesterday it was almost 50 degrees and sunny. Wake up today, and as you can probably hear, some ice and snow on the ground. Let me flip the camera around and give you a, give you a look at here. Hold on. Yeah, boy. It's icy out here today, folks. Hey, old Jakey. situated towards the back looks a lot smaller in the frame trust me it is small and I'll show you here in just a minute how small it is but so that's it guys a little smoking area got me some new tools some new gadgets gadgets uh, let's take a look at what we're gonna do today all right guys so this not a very good camera angle but as you can see that car barely even fits front end in here I got a whole nother half of the car out back so we definitely ain't parking nothing in here I ain't got much room I got about two three feet up here maybe four yeah buddy well we're gonna do a little work on the car today as you can see I got the tire off just to give me a little extra room we're gonna climb under there and uh, drain the tranny fluid but all right, I'll be back. All right, guys, what's up? It's Big T coming at you today with a cigar review. Hopefully, we got time to do this one. As you can see, the background behind me might be a tad different than the uh, last video I did. Hopefully, it's not too echoey in here. I uh, got the man cave kind of straightened out a little bit. Made some room in here so I can work on my car if I needed to. Um, so yeah, so got me a little heater, so now it's not as cold out here. I can actually sit out here and be somewhat comfortable. Got the door shut, so we're good there. Yeah, so just sitting here cleaning up a little mess I made yesterday working on the car. Got a little extra time today, so we're gonna sit down and check out a cigar. I've had it for a while. And by a while, I don't mean like years, it's been months. So I got this one back in February. This is the Asylum 13. Asylum 13. Nice dark Maduro wrapper. It is a Nicaraguan Puro. Um, blended by Christian Aroa. You might know him from brands like CAO, Camacho, but he's paired up with the guys over at Asylum. They give us these nice Nicaraguan blend monsters. This one is a 6x60, big boy, so I don't know if you want to call that a double Toro or a Gordo. I usually call it a Gordo, 6x60. Um, yeah, it's a pretty nice looking wrapper. Kind of veiny, but overall pretty smooth. You can see a couple seams. It's got a nice shine to it, so I guess we'll see if there's any shoe shine on there. Um, I don't believe this one had any sort of box press, but it is a little square at the tip, probably just from sitting in the humidor. It was on the bottom. I actually had a scare with my humidor. I let it get a little low on the... Uh, humidity range and I brought everything back to life and all the sticks look good so we should be fine but we'll have to keep a better eye on that pretty firm roll I have not gotten my Dr. Rod tool yet I am working on it but 
I do have something that will work for the time being if we need to open it up a little bit more. So yeah, pretty firm roll, especially towards the cap. It gets pretty tight down there, so I might have to take a little out of that. But. Wrapper's got kind of a A little bit of that barnyard smell on there. Maybe some green tobacco. I gotta, I gotta try and stay away from my hands though when I'm doing this because I just used some, uh, some gojo. So I'm, I'm smelling orange, but that's not the cigar. That, that's, that's the gojo. Sweet tobacco on the foot. Maybe a little bit of graham cracker too. That's interesting. Never smelled that on a, on the foot before. Yeah, kind of smells like graham cracker. So, let's get this cut up and uh, we'll get into it and see what we got going on. So I'm back to using my little, little cutter, my little cheapy, the one I first bought, old trusty double guillotine. I had this nice, I think I threw it away. I had this nice big, like, I don't even know what it was, like an 80 ring gauge uh, double guillotine from Vertigo that I bought for like three bucks or something at uh, Indian River, local B&E up here. Loved it, and then, I don't know, I was carrying it around in my pocket one day. I don't know if it accidentally got chomped down on a quarter or what happened, but um, in here, in the blades, there was actually Sorry, I forgot I flipped the camera around. So in here in the blades, it actually had like a piece that got bent. Like the blade, I don't know, somehow got nicked or something and it like folded it over funny so it wouldn't cut right. So I had to get rid of that one. But I can always go back and get another one, I guess. But back to old trusty for now. And what I've been trying to do with these, um, they just had it on the meet in the middle show too and I forget what they called it. But the cut that you do, I've been trying to get it at like a little bit of an angle, you know, like this. Because what it does, or what it's supposed to do, is it keeps those flavors kind of centered towards your palate. It's actually got a nice draw on it for being so tight. So I've been trying that cut out. This one's probably not as drastic as what it's supposed to be. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. That's all I did. Kind of uh, like an off-centered cut, basically, on the cap there. Still gives you plenty of room. But what that does is it kind of, instead of forcing it, correct me if I'm wrong, somebody, but uh, instead of forcing it to the roof of your mouth or like throughout, it kind of centers it towards the palate if you, as long as you keep that kind of face it towards your, uh, well, towards your tongue. Cold draw. A little bit of spiciness on the tongue. It's got a little bit of that graham cracker in there. And some sweet tobacco. It's got a lot of spiciness. So we'll see how the blend is there. All right. Yeah. Let's fire it up. Let's see what we got going on. Just gonna heat up the edge a little bit here and get that nice and binded. Binded? Bound? I don't know. Whatever the proper grammar is there. I'm not politically correct, folks. So I can already tell you right now there is some shoe shine on here.
lots of smoke out, but ooh wee. Pretty nice, actually. So I don't know if you'd be able to see this. <clears throat> Some of it's evened out now, but uh, I don't know if you can see that the lighter, probably not. The lighting out here is not the greatest. Yeah, we'll get to it later, maybe. Anyway, there's a spot right here. A little bit lighter. Definitely got some shoe shine on the wrapper, so. And it is a spicier blend. Woo. Definitely got some pepper in there. Ah. So we're just relaxing today, guys. Got a little shindig to go to later for New Year's. Wife's got some friends of hers that do a big shindig every year. They got a big family. And um, they do a lot of, or they did a lot of uh, motocross back in the day. So did my wife. So they all kind of know each other. And so we're going to go hang out over there, have a few drinks, have a good time. Spicy retro too, man. It's not overly spicy though. It's like just enough. It's pepper with a purpose. <laughs> pepper with a purpose. Good stuff. Speaking of drinks, I could go for a drink right now. Still a little early for me though. It's only 12.30. So right now we got lots of pepper. Pepperheads, you're gonna like this one. Lots of pepper. And it's kind of focusing mainly on like the back of my tongue. Um, it's not really, not really an oily pepper. And I would say it's somewhere between a black and red pepper. Other than that, that's all I'm really getting right now. So I'm gonna smoke on this a little bit and I'll be back. Hold on guys. All right guys, so we're well into that first uh, first third here. As you can see, nice, clean, crisp burn. No issues there. I gotta block out a little light over here so my camera will focus a little bit. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, maybe. Anyway. So nice crisp clean burn, nice, uh, looks to be pretty compact ash there. Still great smoke output. Pepper has died down a little bit. Instead of that rush of the red pepper on the back of your tongue, it's kind of evened out to a nice, uh, like a medium black pepper. So that's, that's nice. Um, as far as other flavors, just some earthy tobacco, and that's that's about it, guys. I mean, it's, uh, I don't know if I mentioned before, but it is a Nicaraguan Puro. So everything in this is from Nicaragua, um, which is definitely a good way to balance out a cigar.
the band is a little loose. So we're going to go ahead and pull that right off of there. It's a pretty cool band. I like the, uh, if we can get it to focus here. Maybe not. I need a better camera. Anyway, so it's a nice black band. Silver skulls on there for the Asylum logo. It's got Asylum 13. And it's got some red, uh, kind of like pinstriping dotting on it. Pretty cool. So we'll add that one to the collection. <clears throat> so the cigar's burning nice. No relights yet. That's a plus. I would consider this to be medium body, probably medium strength right now, it hasn't picked up too much. Um, and then, so we mentioned it was Nicaraguan Puro, it's got the Nicaraguan Habano Maduro wrapper, and then of course binder and filler is Nicaraguan, um, Nicaraguan long filler, blended by Christian Aroa, makes great cigars. Um, price point here, so I found a couple different ones, um, but we'll go with the uh, Cigar Advisor one, which is, I don't know what the hell that just was. Um, so we're going to go with the, uh, we've got some weird noises going on out here. Um, so we're going to go with the Cigar Advisor price, and that is $335.99 for a box of 50, and that's of the 6x60 Gordos. Um, so that comes down to about $6.71 per stick. Not bad. And if I remember right, it's about what I paid for this one, about six or seven bucks, something like that. So. So far, the cigar definitely fits into my wheelhouse. <clears throat> Alright guys, I'm back. I don't know what's going on with that. My camera just stopped filming. So, um, so like I said, this definitely fits to my wheelhouse so far. Definitely something I would pick up again. It's for the flavors. Like I said, you got that earthy tobacco. There's like a slight toasted nuttiness coming in here. Kind of concerned about the ash. I think it's getting ready to drop. So. Try and tip a little bit off here. There we go. Nice compact ash too. Nice chunk. Look at that. Beautiful. Anyway. So yeah, slight nuttiness coming in there. So that's nice, a little bit of a change up. Um, the pepper is starting to even out a little bit more now too. So like I said, it's like a medium black pepper that's starting to kind of tone down just a little bit. So we'll see where that ends up at. A um, little bit of a sweet tobacco flavor in there as well on the retro. Man, it's cold out today. I swear, the other day it was 50 and sunny. And then yesterday, as you might have seen from the beginning of this video, it was icy and snowing a little bit. And uh, now today it is cold and rainy. So good old Michigan for you. It's a good thing I got my, uh, my Carhartt hat and my uh, Under Armour gear on today. Nice and, nice and warm. I did get a little heater for out here, but uh, I think with the lack of insulation, as you can see behind me, in these garages, it's not retaining enough heat. So I might have to bump up the heater a little bit. I might have to get a little bit bigger one. But it keeps me warm for now.
Burn is still going pretty good. Um, let's see if I can block out a little bit of light here. Focus in a little bit. So it's a little bit of a coastline going on, kind of drastic on that side, but it's been evening itself out pretty well, so. We'll just run with it. We'll run with it. So far, a nice cigar. Um, let's see, we're going on, what, probably, oh, I don't know, just under an hour here, maybe 45 minutes or so, and we're almost, I'd say about a quarter of the way in, right? It's about a quarter. So, definitely a long smoke. <clears throat> so like I said guys, I had a little bit of a scare with my humidor. I, just, I got a nice uh, a nice little desktop humidor. I forget how many it's supposed to hold, probably like 75 or something like that. But uh, I got <laughs> I got quite a few in there. It's actually surprising to me. Every time I look in there, it seems like there's more even though I haven't bought any. But uh, I do get a lot of gifts from friends. So a shout out to especially Brother Rob. He hooks me up all the time. Thank you, brother. But um, so this was the old one. As you can see, I just used that one for storage. The uh, plexiglass top wasn't really retaining the uh, humidity very well, so I, I bumped it up. I got a little more expensive one this time. All solid, cedar, um, with the hydrometer inside, so there's no holes for anything to escape. It seems to be working pretty well. Um, I'm having a little bit of trouble with uh, humidifi humidification. Um, I've been using the Bovita packs, which seem to work really good. Um, I tried out one of the Zycar jars, and that didn't really work so well, so I'm a little disappointed with that. But we'll just go with the flow. Ooh. That was interesting. So the retro on that one has almost like a, almost like a smoky, kind of like a smokiness to it, like a, like a smoky wood, if you know what I'm saying, like uh, when you use, say, like oak, like oak or something in your smoker, that's what it kind of tastes like. That was interesting. Yeah, so this will probably be my, uh, well, maybe not. I might have one more yet later tonight. But this might be my last cigar. It'll definitely be my last review for uh, 2018. And uh, I'll show you my my collection of bands here, since we're going to add the Asylum one to that. This is my uh, this is my collection thus far. That's just this year, folks. I just started indulging in these at the beginning of the year so uh, there's quite a bit in here and every time I go to add another one I'm like damn I've smoked this many cigars but there's some duplicates like these Palones I like those those are good CAO good stick there but uh, yeah so that's my little collection box little CAO cedar chest So those of you who have subscribed to my channel, um, I apologize for the lack of content lately. I got a new promotion at my job. I'm not sure if I had mentioned that before or not. But uh, Big T is a supervisor now, so I got a little more on my plate. A little more on my plate and a little more to deal with on the daily basis. Been working a lot of hours, been getting like 80 hour weeks in, so uh, I gotta get the money while I can, folks, because it doesn't always come around that way. But that's good, got all my stuff caught up, and I uh, was able to give the kid a nice Christmas. Wife and kid were very happy with that. I hope everybody had a nice Christmas, and hopefully everybody has a good New Year's Eve. 
2018 has been kind of a up down year for me. I don't know about you guys, but uh, we're ending on an upscale, so I'm good with that. If there's one thing I've learned in my, I don't even know how old I am, guys, 27, my 27 years here on this earth, is that life has its ups and downs, and you just kind of have to go with the blows. But uh, definitely. When you're down in the dumps, don't give up because there's always going to be an upside that swings back around for you. Personally, I was kind of uh, lacking on the paychecks and the company was kind of cutting hours a little bit and then this promotion came along and I really wasn't expecting it, so I went ahead and took it and now things are on the uppity up, guys. I got, I got Mama a new car and got my car paid off. You know, got all the bills and stuff caught up, so that's good. Was able to have a nice Christmas for everybody, so that's good. Got a couple things, you know, for the man cave. Some uh, much needed tools to work on my cars and stuff. Let me tell you on that front, while I'm on the subject, if you ever go to Harbor Freight, walk around with your hands in your pockets. <laughs> nah, it wasn't so bad. I got the necessities that I needed. Some jack stands, a nice floor jack. I pretty much got the tools I need, just needed a couple things to help me out a little bit. So, money well spent, nonetheless. All right, so the draw is starting to tighten up a little bit, so I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and even off this cut. Give us a little more uh, surface to pull from here. See if that helps a little. I'm going to work it out just a little bit here. Let's see if that helps. Like I said, it's a little tighter towards the cap, so I think now that we're almost halfway through... We're going to start getting a little bit of a tighter draw going. Oh yeah, that opened it up pretty nice. I do like that new cut just because of the way it kind of concentrates the flavor. But I have found that if you just do your, you know, your straight cut across, you get a better pull off of it. So, food for thought. All right, guys, I'm trying to block this light that's behind my giant head here. Maybe keep the camera in focus a little bit more for you. So we're, well, halfway, well into halfway. There's a little bit of like a creamy cedar note kind of jumping in here. Yeah, it's like a creamy cedar. Still got great smoke output. Um, the burn is still, I don't know, kinda, kinda, kinda choppy, but no complaints. It's pretty much evening itself out for the most part. So, pretty good cigar. Um, let's see here. What else we got? Been smoking on this one for about uh, hour and twenty minutes or so, give or take. So it's a nice long smoke. I think I'm getting towards the end of it though. We've got a little bit of a bitterness coming in, and uh, it doesn't really hit my palate really good. So, I think the strength is starting to pick up a little bit too towards the end. So I think it's about time to go in and uh, get something to eat. So let me get them numbers for you guys real quick, and uh, we'll get on out of here. Hold on, guys. All right. So I'm done with this one, guys. Uh, the strength is starting to get to me just a little bit, so I'm going to head on in and uh, get something to eat. But uh, numbers for you. So for construction, I'm going to go ahead and give it a four. Great construction. 
Um, had one little touch up I had to make, um, and I think a lot of that was just due to the way I initially cut it. Um, so it was a little lacking on one side. So we'll give it a four construction price. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a five. I think six to seven dollar range is pretty fair for something like this. Um, flavor, we're gonna go with a four, um, just because it's got a few different flavors in there. Um, and then complexity, we'll give it a three. Pretty average on the complexity. It changes up a little bit. Um, but uh, overall, not like a pow right in the face kind of complexity. So uh, that gives us an overall rating of a four out of five. Um, like I said, definitely in my wheelhouse. Definitely something um, that if you're into those kind of things, you might want to try it. Uh, creamy cedar, earthy tobacco, a little bit of sweet tobacco in there. Uh, it's got some pepper. You got that nice punch of pepper right up front, and then it kind of evens out towards the rest of the cigar. So that's good. It's not overpowering. Um, but still enough to keep you keep you into the cigar. So um, again, that's the Asylum 13. Um, this was the 6x60. I think it comes in four or five other sizes as well. So if you get a chance and it sounds like something you want to try, go ahead and check it out. Um, I don't think I'll get the video up before the new year, but this is my last video for the year. So I hope everybody had a Merry Christmas. Excuse me. And I hope everybody has a great New Year's. And I'll see you guys next year. <laughs> Alright, this is Big T, signing off. Take care, guys.